Hi, this is Kelly from KKBGenealogy.com. Today I'll be going over part two on how to use the film viewer at FamilySearch.org catalog. Um, first, I've selected to go through South Carolina, Lancaster County. I want to go to the conveyances. I've opened that in a new tab already. I'm going to go ahead and select the first camera icon for the deed index from 1787 to 1875. So I've opened that up into a new tab. I always, again, I always use tabs so I do not lose my previous navigation. These first images inside the digitized session are normally information images, such as this notice. And to get onto a particular page from the default size images, you simply can double click. And then to toggle back out to the original size of the images, you will hit the mul browse multiple images button to your left. Okay, now let's talk about how do you navigate through the pages. We have a previous button and we have a next button. It's all up here in your left upper hand corner of the film viewer. We can also change page numbers manually by entering them here. Now to remember when you do this that the D books have been photographed with a full book open and the binder flat. So you have end up with two pages per image. So this would be like page one, this would be page two, and then next would be three, four, and so forth. So if we want to go ten pages, we'd only want to go five in the film viewer page navigation. So instead of six, we want eleven. And that take us to those two pages together. Next we want to go over the tools on the right hand side of the film viewer browser. That is print. So you could print this particular page. You can download to your computer this particular page. Or you can also adjust image by brightness and contrast. You can also change the orientation by rotating them left 90 degrees. So, and you have to do it a couple times to get it to the orientation that you would desire. For adjusting images, we have brightness and also contrast. A secret to this is sometimes the, the camera takes really light pictures. It's only due to the fact that the, the ink is really faded. <laughs> so sometimes if you can adjust the contrast down, you can see it better. You can cancel or apply. Also, we can use the inverted. It changes the white background to the black background and black text to white. At times that might be easier to read. Also, some of the film digitization is in inverted. It looks like this. So if it looks like this when you land on it, you can always invert it to the white black ground with the black ink. This button over here to your right is full toggle. In case you want to increase the size. And then you can use either the escape button or toggle it down with clicking that button again. You can zoom out or zoom in. using these buttons. Also you can use the scroll, your scroller on your mouse. Forward would be zoom, backwards would be zoom out, zoom out. You can also go page up or page down. If you want to scroll go up and down the page. You can also drag, right click and drag and release to go up and down. It says also to and this way, if you're on the smaller thumbs. And that is pretty much it. A lot of it is just 
trying it and doing it and playing with it. I hope you have a great day and hope this video was of use to you. Thank you for viewing my video and you have a great day.